Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Rude Wave 3 with me, Alpha Pile Omega, and the Kaiserliche Marine, the Navy of the German Empire. So in the last episode we actually managed to sink a Russian white cruiser, which was a lot of fun. We were fighting them in the Baltic, and uh, turns out two small ships can take down one bigger ship. Who knew? <laughs> Anyway, at this point uh, we are desperately waiting for the ships to come into service. Uh, Frederick III of the Deutsche Kaiser class, uh, two Gefions and Wilhelm I, plus the Donau class battleship should all come to service next turn. They're all being rebuilt, which is okay. Once we get the Deutsche Kaisers uh, in service, I'm going to start rebuilding one of the two Deutsche Kaisers that are not actually um, rebuilt yet, but we'll have to figure out something to do with them because they don't have enough weight remaining for this. And if I just lower the amount of shells, it's going to be awful. <laughs> So it would, yeah, it would make sense to actually lower the armor on the secondary guns by half an inch, and that would solve all of our issues. Hmm. Well, I don't like it. It seems like the best option here. So it would be. Pretty good, I guess. I don't think I can. Yeah. No, actually, I can invest it in. The, okay, that's great. The secondaries can actually take more ammo. It's just the primary guns that are having issues with that. God damn it, game. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> it's just. Uh, I speak so highly of you, and then you treat me with this kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, we're building. We're building, we're building, we're researching, so there really isn't anything that I would like to set up. Our ships are hunting uh, with intent. How many ships do we have on raiding? So, Hela and Gazelle, and Lebeck and Danzig, both in Northeast Asia. So, we're gonna see what kind of battles we're gonna get now, because there really isn't much else that remains for us to do. We are working on the Doctrine of Gunnery, which is going to be coming online in seven months, which is, again, completely fine. So yeah, let's end the turn. Coastal Raid, Enemy Russia, Battle Size Medium. Okay, so we have three heavy cruisers, Sink enemy coastal shipping. Eligible ships must be at least 600 tons. Oh, actually, we are raiding them. Okay, so some cruisers and supporting forces. So we'll have our Victoria Louise class ships in this, three of them. And they are pretty good, so I'm looking forward. This might be fun. And we need to sink enemy coastal shipping. Okay. Strong breeze and cloudy. All of our ships are capable of 21 knots. So that should be fun. We're gonna be sinking some coastal shipping. Basically, we're hunting. Sink two ships, any ships. Okay. So we're sailing towards this point. And within 100. Are you joking? It's 1901. Uh, so we're gonna be doing this during night. God damn it. Well, at least we got really good ships available this time. Three of our top notch cruisers, all with 8 inch guns. And these are really good. So, whatever we meet here. We're basically going to be able to destroy. But the fact that it's night is really irking me. Or, I mean, night. Uh, wait, what happened? Did we spot something? No, we didn't. 
Okay, so let's go to 18 knots. And see if we can find something. It's still day, but we have like 50 minutes of it left. Hopefully we might spot something. Because this is a really ideal situation for us, but... Not really if we just can't find anyone in the darkness. So we're sailing over here. Yeah, and the darkness is coming. Oh, I mean, that's dusk. Yep, we are in dusk. To my right. The sunset will be in 1 hour and 20 minutes. I mean, it's June, so we have a lot of light, but still the fact that we are. Yeah, look at that. We already have a fairly limited spotting range. Well, the game usually lets, leads you in the right direction, so I'll trust it that. And we'll find something this way. 1000 turns for this. 2134. In 20 minutes, it's gonna be dark. Well, good luck finding something in the darkness. Uh, with this amount of time, we might actually sail across the entirety of the night. It is basically planned as a night raid. And with the guns we have, whatever we actually spot might be going down pretty quickly. Let's just sail. Hmm. So far nothing. It's midnight. Don't we... Oh, we'll have... Polar day, okay. That's unexpected. Okay, let's change our course this way. See if we can spot something. Any kind of shipping should be happening in this area. It has to be within 100 nautical miles. Unknown ship sighted, okay. So there we go. Turn the heart towards it. See if we can identify. It's 1.44 in the morning. It's twilight. Uh, okay. So close to it. It's not engaging us. It is a transport ship. Okay. So that's one of those that we need to sink. So go, guys. Go, go, go. Okay, we're gonna start sailing parallel to it to get as good a chance of hitting it as possible. Okay, you don't have a hit chance. You don't have a hit chance. We're far away. Far still. On 5,000 yards. It's a medium transport ship, so we can just get as close as we want. Okay, your chance is 4.33%. Okay, that is decent. And as it's a merchant ship, we can actually sail really close to it. So I just sail 
parallel to it to get as good chance to hit as possible. 10%. That's as good as we can get, I think. Yeah, we're gonna destroy it completely. I'm 100% sure that it's sinking at this point. There's no chance it suffered this many hits and is not sinking. 3,000 tons. What was our objective? 1,000? No, 10,000 tons. Uh, okay, so we're nowhere near the amount we need, but it's dead. So, successful hit number one. So now let's continue towards... Uh, I think it was here, we're like 50 nautical miles away. Okay, let's go back and increase the pattern. Okay, our sighting range is not great. Still far below. I mean, it's 3.22 in the morning. During the day, it would be 27,000. Okay, there's another ship. Okay, and this one is a cruiser. Okay, Variac class. Why is it is running? There's an unknown ship. Okay, it looks like they're all sailing to port. Yeah, and we can't really do anything with them during them being in port. Okay, but we can sing the Variac. Uh, there's destroyers, okay. So this is looking good. If we can chase away the Variac away from the port. Do we know how fast it is? 19 knots, okay. So it is significantly slower than we are. Two knots will make quite the difference. So we're gonna go to squad max, which at this point is 19 knots. Okay, you're not going to the port, my friend. Um, what happened? Where, where did it go? Did we sink it? What? It disappeared. I don't think we can actually... Uh, oh, there's a coastal battery there. We have to get the hell out of, out of dodge here. That's not a good idea. Yeah, they're all hiding. Okay, these destroyers... If we could lure them out of there. Okay, this is looking good. So the Pavada is trying to get away. Let's follow it. Uh, 
and so are the destroyers. Okay, we open fire. So we can try to get slightly closer. We need to sink these ships. Just the hitting them won't do us any good. We'll get a little bit of score for that, but our objective is to sink ships. We have about 3,000 tons so far. So we need to chase this one away. Okay, we got a bad shot. Okay, it's not flooding, but that was a really bad hit it suffered. Okay, what's the distance? Okay, shoot at it. Turn with it. And then turn like this. We must keep chasing it away from the port. Because if we... Uh, 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 if we allow it... To pass us... We're gonna retreat again. And we don't want that. This way, cross its T. Yeah, we're scoring hit after hit, and we have much heavier guns than last time. So this should definitely make them regret everything. Yeah, they're slowing down. Significant. I will keep it at squad max for a little longer. And we're gonna start slowing down so we give our guys a little bit of rest as well. 3000 yards. Yeah, at this distance, we should have a pretty decent chance of it again. Almost 3%. go. We must stay between it and the port. That way they can't... Oh, look at that! Jesus, this is a difference in quality. Four 8-inch guns, 8-6-inch. Yeah, we're shooting crazy amounts at it. I mean, it is most likely shooting at us as well. But we don't really mind. Okay, let's go to cruise speed. This guy is is sinking, in my opinion, at this point. Yeah, five knots. We just keep running around it. Okay, we we'll just need about fifteen hundred more tons after this. Yeah. Scoring hit after hit at it. Two more shots. Hit. Okay, don't let it. It's sailing to the port, so don't let it go there. More hits. 612. Another hit from a 6 inch gun. Another six inch gun. Yeah, it stopped. It's definitely sinking. It's on fire too. I'm pretty sure they're gone. So we'll sail back. What's our sighting range? Yeah, we can definitely see it. Even from quite some distance and it's not gonna get away from us. So I um, just need to make sure that I'll find a single next ship. Okay, Coastal Battery is shooting at us. Where did the destroyers go? It 
It's stationary or on fire. Hey! We finished the objective of sinking two ships. Okay, I found it, it said 10,000 like in tons, but that's fine. I don't mind. So now let's go and see if we can find some other ships to play with. We still have time. So in case there is something here. Uh, we cite a land installation. That's not exactly what we want to play with. I might try to go to Reval in the remaining time. It's 8 o'clock, so we get a sighting range of 20,000 yards. So we are relatively fine. We just. I would really like to see those destroyers if that would be possible, but. Hey! Spotted something! And it's barely moving, so that's gonna be a merchant, in my opinion. Doesn't matter, we'll still sink it. As we we'll gain score for it. Yes, it is a small merchant ship. Now the question is, is it Russian? Wait, are we shooting at it? And we found another Russian cruiser. Okay, that's more interesting than the merchant, but if we can, we'll sink the merchant as well. Yeah, it's gonna sink. It's a small 900 ton merchant. So what about you guys? There's a Battleship here. Okay, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> we are, I mean, uh, that would be snap. That would be fun, but it has a, another of the Variac cruisers with it. Entirely sure about this. We'll see if they go after us. We need medium damage, really. Let's see if we can provoke them a little bit more. Okay, that one is sunk. Hmm. Not sure about this. I'm really, really not sure about this. We've already done what we wanted. They have eight inch guns. Those are pretty good. We have those even on our battleships. They got. Oh, it's not a battleship. We misidentified it. Okay. So then we go after them. Bogatir class. I am. I smell blood in the water. Okay, they're opening fire at us. Let's cross their T. Oh, that's not gonna happen, but. We could keep shooting. Now, my question is can I give you a target? Right cap to. Okay, one is shooting at the Variac and two are shooting at the bullet here. Oh snap, I'm gonna hit to the superstructure. Very glad. Let's 
not. Okay, what are we facing here? Two seven inch guns, ten six inch guns. So twenty six inch guns. While we have, yeah, we we outgun them in every possible way. So what we just need to do is concentrate our fire. There's another ship over there. It's most like an emerging ship. I would really like it if we could just target one of those. And see Marikar how look at your hate. Okay, Marikar is taking quite a beating. It's flooding. Okay, this is not worth it. We are turning. We've done what we wanted, so there really isn't that much of a reason to lose a ship and it's gonna flood. Okay, let me see my car. Is it. Ah, uh, it's flooding on a slightly. Medium damage. I'm really tempted. I'm really tempted. Okay, so how are we doing now? I. Oh, we are shooting at that one ship. If we could single out one of them. The damage is fairly superficial, 6%. The flooding is fine. It's just two, but it would do us well to slow down. I need to get a little bit closer. Ah, like that. Okay, that's good. Just keep shooting. Yep. We scored a hit. I'm actually thinking, could we? Uh, maybe. Separate them. Could we maybe what did that superstructure pass through? Victoria Ways. It's not flooding. Okay, so now we are doing massive damage. We hit them far wow. That is a, okay, and we're getting awfully close. Heavy damage. Turn this way. I don't want to catch torpedo to the face. Twenty hit. Yeah, okay, it's slowing down. We might take it. Okay, you took some more. Wow, nine hits. Superstructure almost dead, but yeah, this one is it's a heavy fire, heavy damage on fire, and it's turning. Okay, we've done it. This one is gonna return to port, but taking you down. One more ship is gonna bite the bullet. It's the distance, two thousand yards. Should be safe for us. We managed to separate them, which is what I wanted to do because this way this guy can go and be safe. But we'll sink you. Oh, nice! We just did, didn't we? Okay, that coastal battery is gonna tear us, and you want me to have to get the hell out of there. Not entirely sure if we sink them or not. Or maybe we did. Can we challenge the bugatti here? 
now I'll feel kind of safe to fight it. We'll do this destroyer. I really do wonder if we sank it or not. I'm not sure. Okay, stop. If we can engage that ship, I'll take it. We can do some more damage. This is gonna be a massive victory for us eventually. I'm pretty sure. Okay, shoot. Now let me just double check. You're, you have a slight problem with flooding, nothing major, you are also fine. Flooding is the issue. Once your ships start flooding, you are in serious trouble. It, you took massive hits, but you're fine. A bogatier has no heavy weapons, so you should be... We shoot at it? Are we shooting at it? Yes, we are. Okay. Chances are 0.1%. Okay, that's not very. Okay, let's see. We can shoot at the body class. Sink that bastard. It's a small ship. Turn around. Open. Victoria Rizal hit shell burst. Uh, that's not great. Flooding medium hits, wide hits. Superstructures taking a beating. Medium damage, 10 knots. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. That close to battery is problematic, but mm -hmm. we can keep harassing them, see if it if something comes out of it. I think we can we can end it. Let's just leave the leave them be. They're in port, so I'm just gonna keep moving around. I don't mind that. Okay, so we've done quite a lot of damage this time, and we sink an entire ship. So I consider this a great victory. We've sunk two merchants. Why did that? There we have the port. They did. Is it the... No, that's the destroyer. No, it's the Bugatti here. It's retreating again. To the safety of the port. Yeah, okay, well, never mind. We're leaving. 
Can we end it? And the ships are in the air. Okay, never mind. We have to go. Uh, a little bit of flooding on one of our ships. Flooding too. Yeah, some of these ships are gonna get pretty okay. We just spotted another ship. Okay, go. Is that a merchant? No, it's a destroyer. What do you think it is? A kitchen a patrol boat class, Russian Corvette. We're catching up to it, so that is definitely not a destroyer. Whatever that is, it's gonna be our last target. Yeah, it's a Corvette. Okay. Uh, 12 knots, 200 tons. Really? I, I'll take it, I mean. It is well within our means to sink it, but... 200 tons... I mean, it's 200 tons. It's not nothing. But... <laughs> it's very... It seems like a serious overkill. Okay, let me just see. Our ships are okay. You're damaged but not flooding, damaged but not flooding, so that's fine. Uh, if it is a Corvette, it shouldn't be capable of carrying torpedoes, but I'll still be a little bit careful here. 4,000 yards. Did we hit it? I don't think we did. We haven't. Chances are fairly low. Let's follow it. Okay, score the hit. Another hit and it sunk. So what about now? Can we... No, there's still someone... In the vicinity. I mean, I'd be very happy to sink some more ships. Okay, now it's done. So, what did we sink? We sank one cruiser, one corvette, and two auxiliary transport ships, meaning we've done 16,116 points of damage. They've done 1,855, uh, which means we get 26,116 points, and they get 3,000, so it's a total victory for us. We failed to damage four destroyers, and we wiped to damage two heavy cruisers and one Heavy cruiser took heavy damage. Mm, so we didn't sink that cruiser, that sucks. Okay, well it is a major victory and we gained a prestige point for that and we gained 1781 victory points. Uh, what do you want to call this engagement? Battle over Sala. Sure. Donau has finished her reconstruction, Frederick has finished the reconstruction, Medusa finished the reconstruction. The enemy has sounded us about a negotiated peace with us, gaining disputed border areas and some of their colonies. The Kaiser wants to know your opinion. Uh, we can secure even better terms. Hmm. So they would give us disputed border areas and some of their colonies. I'm okay with that. This sounds like a good basis. 
Okay, so Kaiser is persuaded by generals to scuttle the peace negotiations, and we gained 80 points from trade warfare, and Japan added 41. So that was a really good turn. We jumped to 4,561 victory points. Okay, Mariko needs to repair for a turn, and Victoria Wies needs to be repaired for two turns. In the next turn, we're gonna get quite a lot of ships rebuilt, and that's gonna be it. But with that said, we need to start rebuilding. Okay, the Donau is now available. It's amazing, and as a central range finder, it's gonna help us. Quite significant and I'm gonna rebuild the Wilhelm the second and the Kaiser. We need them I'm gonna rebuild one and then the second one. So let's see what we can do here. Uh we've have uh, we replaced machinery. That would be nice, but that's not what we want to do. So uh I'm going to Give you the central range finder, increase the positions to free. And we discussed that we can actually. Yeah, we can reduce the ammo for secondaries. Hmm. It's actually not what I wanted. We wanted to lower the armor for the secondary guns. Yeah. And that allows me to actually add additional ammo for you, like so, 190 of rounds on the secondaries. It's gonna take three months for 1500, that's actually pretty good. Okay, save and finish. And there's an arrow belt, I'm aware of that. Yes, rebuild dialogue, and let's rebuild both of these. Wait, this one. Ah, okay, that's the older one. Okay, so we can rebuild to this one. Three turns, and I can rebuild you as well, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's rebuild you as well. The sooner we get you, the better. Okay. So that means those are going to be rebuilt, and we're going to be fine. Uh, we now have six of the battleships are over here. Okay, we need to move you to the Baltic, though. So, Frederick and Donau needs to move to the Baltic Sea, which is Northern Prussia. No, the, ba the Baltic. Yes, we move to the Baltic. And... What else do we have in Northern Europe? Medusa. It's working up. What the balance here? You got one battleship, four cruisers. Two more cruisers. I don't mind, you're gonna move. To the Baltic, that's where the fighting is happening all the time. So you move to the Baltic. Hela is going to stay there, you're raiding. Hertel back, that's fine. Okay, on that note, I'm gonna end this episode. A really great battle. We sank quite a lot of ships. Hopefully we get more like this, because um, as I mentioned, Victoria Ruiz class ships are our best cruisers, and they just proven that. If we could get... Oh, you guys are much smaller, but you're still pretty good. So having you guys hunting would be also good. Or I wouldn't mind having actual battle in the Northeast Sea, where we have... Oh, they actually don't have any ships there. So that means our light cruisers are basically just doing whatever they want there. <laughs> Fine. But I'm tempted to keep the other two Vibeks in Northern Europe. Because they could pretty much fight the enemy there if it came down to it. Anyway, I'm happy we get a prestige point. I'm happy... Oh my god, Oh, uh, you cost a lot. 
finally realized that. I should have gone with just one. Ah, uh, never mind. We'll, we'll deal with that in the next episode. Uh, but what I wanted to say is that I'm happy with the results so far. The Euro budget is nice. We got a prestige point. We haven't lost a single ship yet, but Russia is bleeding, which is amazing. Yeah, their naval tonnage is 283,000. And we in Japan, we are way bigger. So Russia is going to get beaten. Uh, 